In this video, I'll talk about the Upright feature here in the Lens Corrections panel in the Develop module. Upright will allow you to straighten your photos and correct perspective issues. While there are ways to do this manually in Lightroom, the great thing about Upright is that it analyzes our photos and makes an automatic correction for us with a simple click. Before you use Upright, I highly recommend that you enable profile corrections and remove chromatic aberration. If you look over at the photo as I toggle off and on profile corrections, you'll see that Lightroom corrects some lens distortion as well as vignetting or darkening around the corners. Notice if I go to the Profile tab that Lightroom has detected my lens and applied the correct profile. Back on the Basic tab, the Remove Chromatic Aberration checkbox removes color fringing that my lens also might have caused. Doing these first gives Upright a better starting point. We have four options for Upright, Auto, Level, Vertical, and Full. Level, as I click on it, simply straightens the photo. Vertical will fully correct the vertical keystoning or tilting in of the lines and level the photo. Notice as I click on it that it corrects the lines to technically straight, but the columns look much taller when I do this. If I'd like to see a grid as I'm doing this work, I can turn it on by going to View, Loop Overlay, Grid. It's rather faint on this photo, so I'll hold down the Control key on Windows or Command key on Mac, and I'll drag to the right on the word Opacity to strengthen it. I could also change the size of the squares by dragging on the word Size. Now that you've seen the grid, I'll turn it off by going back to View, Loop Overlay, Grid. You can also use the shortcuts Ctrl-Alt-O on Windows or Command-Option-O on Mac to toggle the grid off and on. Back to Upright Options. Full is a combination of leveling and correcting both vertical and horizontal perspective. Watch the photo as I click on it and you'll see it tilt a bit to the right to compensate for me not having shot the building straight on. Auto as I click on it will both level and apply a more conservative perspective correction. In this case, it achieves a really nice balance. I'll go back to Off and then Auto so you can see it again. Having the vertical lines still tilt in a bit usually looks more realistic than the full adjustment does because as we look up at a building, we do experience converging lines. I'll often click through these different options on a photo and just go with whichever looks best to me. When I settle on the one I like most, I can still go to the Manual tab and continue to refine it. Maybe I want to fix the vertical perspective just a little bit more, or if I go with Full and the vertical elements have become stretched out too much, I'll go to the Manual tab and use the Aspect slider to widen them back out. Now I'll go back to the Basic tab and go with my favorite choice for this photo, Auto. Often when you fix perspective issues, you'll end up with a white border because part of the photo becomes pinched in. When you do, you have to crop to remove the border. You can choose to constrain crop and it will not only crop out the white, but it will also maintain the proportions or the shape of your original photo. If I want more control over the crop and I uncheck constrain crop, notice that I don't get the rest of my photo back. I have to uncheck it and then click on the Crop tool. At this point, I can see what was cropped out and I can choose to take a different part of the photo. I'll click back on the Crop tool to put it away. Next, I want to quickly point out that if you've cropped your photo or applied a manual transform before using Upright, Upright will undo that work. If you want Upright to work within the confines of your crop and previous transform work, per this message down here at the bottom, you would hold down the Alt key on Windows or the Option key on Mac as you use Upright. I really think though that it's better to use Upright before doing this other work so that it can work with the entire photo. Let's correct another photo. I'll correct this door and then we'll look at how to sync or copy our Upright corrections to other photos. I'll check Enable Profile Corrections and because I didn't see anything happen to the photo, I'll go to the Profile tab. With this particular photo, Lightroom's having trouble reading the camera metadata, so I'll nudge it a bit by selecting Canon 
as the make of my lens. Now it properly detects the lens and applies the profile. I'll go back to the basic tab, remove chromatic aberration, and then I'll try each of the upright options. And I'll settle on auto. Now in the film strip, I'll keep this photo selected and I'll add these other two photos to my selection by holding down the shift key as I click on the last one. At this point in the preview window, you should see the photo you've already worked. If not, click inside the photo thumbnail, not the gray border, of the photo you've worked on. Next, I'll come over to the sync button. Note that if your button says auto sync, click on the switch here to switch it back to sync. I'll click on it and Lightroom is asking me of all of the changes I could have made to the first photo, which ones should be synced to the two additional photos. I'll start by clearing out all of the boxes by checking none so we can focus on syncing the upright change. We have two upright choices here, upright mode, which will apply an image specific auto solution to each because that's what I chose on the first photo and upright transforms, which would apply the exact amount of leveling and perspective correction from the first photo to each of the rest. Now these particular images were not shot at exactly the same angles. So in this case, I want upright mode to get image specific solutions. I would use upright transforms if the images were related, a series of time-lapse shots or HDR exposures, for example. While we're here, let's also sync profile corrections and chromatic aberration since they're important to upright. I'll click on synchronize. I'll select this second photo. You'll see that auto is selected as well as the two checkboxes. And if I toggle off and then on the lens corrections panel, you can see the before and after. If I go to the third photo, we can see the results as well. I hope you've enjoyed this video lesson on this great upright feature.